gonna do my August favorites, and this is something that I, I'm gonna do once a month, so every month I'm gonna show you all my favorite products that I use during that month. So let's begin. I'm gonna begin with my um, touch up bag. Now this is a bag that not everybody needs to buy, obviously. Um, I use this for professional use, so this is like when I'm on set, you know, you do someone's makeup or you do the, the cast makeup or whatever it is, and then you want to stand, usually you do the makeup somewhere aside from where the filming is being done. Um, so if you want to just have like those products with you just for touch up, so it's usually like powders, um, makeup remover in case something is smudged, um, a little bit more blush, um, just like brushes to touch things up. You always want to have some things um, with you and you don't want to have to always keep going back to where your workstation was to be getting those products. So this is a really comfortable little bag that if you're a makeup artist I strongly recommend um, and if you're not a makeup artist it's also kind of cute just to like put stuff in and then just put it on like your dresser I think. So I got this at my local, um, like at a store here locally. I will uh, put the link at the bottom with the name and everything of where you can check this out but I'm sure you can, you know if it's not this exact one, I'm sure you can find ones like this on uh, Amazon or eBay or whatever. So I'm going to start with brushes. So there's two brushes that I want to talk about and the first one is for applying foundation and it's the Sigma Flat Kabuki F80 and that's what the brush looks like. So it's all synthetic hairs and I just really like this to buff in my makeup and I've been using this all month. Now I saw on, um, I've actually just ordered and it hasn't come in yet so I can't talk about it yet, but I ordered two new brushes and they're the exact same thing, the only difference is that it's angled, so it's a flat kabuki angled brush, and it's called an F88, and I ordered also the P88, which is the same thing but smaller, just for like concealer and smaller areas. So I just feel like an angled one might work a little bit better under the eye and like around the sides of the nose, where this one is kind of, doesn't really get there very well. Um, so I'll let you know about that, but definitely I love this brush, and I've been using this all month, and I absolutely love it. The next brush that I've been absolutely adoring and I cannot believe it's taken me so long to purchase it and I am in love and to be honest, the salespeople at MAC, which is where I bought it, um, don't often recommend this brush. So they are often saying like, you know, they'll recommend different brushes for blush, but I fell in love with this one. So this is the 168 by MAC and it's just a soft um, goat hair angled blush brush. Now it's really small, like the entire thing is pretty small, so the regular bl brush, sorry, blush brush that they recommend is like the 129, and that one has a little bit bigger and fluffier of a head, and it's rounded. I just never really loved that brush for blush, and I was always looking for a really good one, so I finally got the courage in buying this one because, you know, they don't really recommend it, and it is a little bit more pricey, um, and I am in love with it, it applies it exactly where I need, just like on the apples of my cheeks, because I do contour on the sides, so I really only want the blush to just be like here on the apples, and the soft, so soft goat hairs allow me to blend it out really beautifully, and I absolutely adore this. So if I was working at MAC, I would recommend this one. I know most of them don't, but I don't know why. The next thing that I've been doing all throughout August, and I love this, and it's working, is putting on castor oil, so the official name for it in Latin, or the medicinal name, is Oleum Racini, I guess? Oleum Racini? So I've been putting just a little bit of this castor oil with my ring finger on my eyebrows every night before I go to bed to help um, enhance growth. I read online that that can help, and I've been trying it out, and I've been doing it for about a month, and it has really, really, really been working. So if you can tell, I haven't really filled in my eyebrows today. You can see, like, I still have a gap here. Um, but this has really filled out nicely and here like I have a few hairs under here that I didn't have before so that's really really working so if you have problems you know they recommend this for ladies who um, who are oh, going through chemotherapy and they've lost their hair and their eyebrows and their lashes so even just a little bit on your lashes will help en enhance growth really 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 cool I like it just make sure you wash it out in the morning because it's like really sticky I've been loving the Urban Decay 24-7 uh, waterproof liquid liner. Just not too much to say, just love the, the, the applicator, the little brush. Love how it is actually waterproof, like literally been going to the pool with this on, doesn't come off at all. 
um, just glides on really nicely and I really love it. The next thing that is also waterproof that I've really, really, really been loving this month is the Superstay 24 Color uh, Lip Gloss by Maybelline. So it's got the two sides. So the first side, oh, and I should tell you the color. <laughs> oh, it's 150 Delicious Pink. So you apply, I mean, this is not a new technology. We've been having this around for years, but I just feel like now they're actually waterproof, whereas a few years ago they weren't. So on the one side, you have, you know, the little brush with the color. So you put that on, you allow it to dry for a few seconds. And then once it's dried, it is dry. It will not budge. You can try to smudge it with your fingers. That's it. It will not move, but it does look dry. So in order to make it look nice and glossy, you have on the other side, like a little shiny gloss. And then you just keep reapplying this throughout the day just to like keep it looking moist and, and hydrated. But the only downside of these types of products, now it's not specifically this product, but it's these types of products in general, is that they do dry out your lips like crazy, crazy, crazy. So don't use them on a daily basis. I highly, don't highly recommend that. Um, only use it when you absolutely have to, such as going to an event or you want to go to the beach or the pool or whatever, like a pool party, and you want to be going in the water and everything, but you still want your lipstick to stay, it's a really great option. So the next thing that I have absolutely been loving in the month of August, because it's hot and humid where I'm at, um, is the Blot Powder uh, by MAC. So this is the pressed powder. And I just use the medium dark color, um, and you literally just pat this on with a brush, or a sponge, it doesn't look heavy, it doesn't apply any coverage, it literally just soaks up the oils off your face and keeps your makeup looking great and non-greasy all day. So I've just been loving that. I've really been loving this month cream uh, eyeshadows or, yeah, I guess you could call them cream eyeshadows. So the two that really stand out for me this month and I've been using them all the time and I have one of them on my eyes right now, um, so I'll start with that one, is the Emmer, it's like a lot of people say Emmervail, but just because I've studied French and I know it's supposed to be, and please excuse my awful accent, Emmerveille, that's how you're supposed to say it. Um, but everyone calls it Emmerville, so I think I'm just gonna call it Emmerville. Anyways, it's the Chanel uh, cream um, shadow. It's the Illusion d'Ombre, that's the name of the series. Just loving this color. It's like a golden, corally, light pink. I don't know, it kind of like, this is the way it blends out on your eye. Can you see? Beautiful. So I just love it. The texture is really like a moussey as opposed to like creamy and it's not like it's super easy to apply and just lasts all day, doesn't crease, doesn't budge. Love it. But it is a little bit more pricey. So for a not as pricey option, um, I've been loving also the MAC Paint Pots. I don't know, this month I've just like not been using powdered eyeshadows almost. I've literally been using like all the time just like cream eyeshadows. So this is Indian wood, just like a nice goldy color, and I've been using this so, so much. The paint pots also will last all day, won't crease. They dry super quickly, so you have to be quick if you want to blend them. And yeah, they're just great. So they're, and they're a little bit more affordable than the Chanel ones. If you're looking for a completely affordable option, it's the Maybelline color tattoos that I've spoken about in the past, and they're great as well. So they're like the cheapest, and to be honest, they work you know, 90% as well as these, I would say. So the next thing that I've been like totally, totally into in the month of August, and I, God knows why, has been blushes. Oh, sorry, excuse my phone. Has been blushes. So I bought a blush palette from MAC. I've just been loving, loving brush blushes in general, and the one that I super, like really, really want to point out is this one here that looks super, super red and scary and like awful and you can never use it. It's called Frankly Scarlet. And it is amazing. It looks super strong and like scary and how can I put that on my cheeks without it being super red and stained. And you just dab this once into the Frankly Scarlet and then tap off any excess or just even brush off any excess and then just apply to the apples of your cheeks and it looks beautiful. It looks like a really natural, healthy glow. It doesn't come off looking red at all. It actually comes out looking pink. So don't judge your book by its cover. As we always say, I'm loving this blush. The next thing that I've absolutely been loving for spot cleans in between deep cleans for my brushes is the MAC Brush Cleaner. Um, I've actually been, you know, I took a little bit out, put it in a smaller bottle and mixed it with a little bit of water. That way you get a little bit more bang for your buck and it'll go a longer way. And literally all I do is just dip after I use the brush, I just dip it in, make it wet, and then 
brush it off um, onto a little tissue and then it's within seconds it's perfectly clean and because it has some alcohol in this it dries really quickly and it's ready for use within 20 or 30 seconds to be used on someone else so that's really great for me for in between cleans um, my favorite nail color this month has been the one that I have on right now and it's called East Hampton Cottage by Essie and it's just a really pearly uh, white and it just looks good on every everyone and with everything you're wearing so it's really good to have if you don't have the time to keep changing your nail color um, the next thing that I've been loving is this little palette that I made myself at Mac so it's just like the palette of fours and it's got my four I guess you could say like almost favorite colors or most used colors so for my highlighting it's got the brulee they're all matte so the brulee for some definition I use the wedge and then if I want to make my crease a little bit more dramatic I'll use brun but then these two colors omega with a hint of brun are perfect for my eyebrows so if I just want something in my bag or like after the gym these four colors will do the trick for my entire makeup look and I just love this been getting a lot of use out of that um, in terms of skincare, I've been loving the Sephora t uh, toner, so it's called the Instant Refreshing Toner, the Perfect Finish, and it's super refreshing in the summer. You just, after you've removed all your makeup and washed your face and everything, you just spray a little bit onto your face, and then with a cotton pad, just wipe off any excess. Usually your face is clean by then, but it's a great way to check, and it also just like really refreshes your skin. Um, I think we'll leave it at that for this month, even though I have way more products. So just to show you, like these have also been my favorites. And obviously the Urban Decay Naked Palette has been a favorite. And Mineralized Skin Finish by MAC. But I will probably leave that for next month and then maybe talk about them then because I am sure I will continue to be using them next month as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you can check out my blog for more reviews and information about all kinds of beauty products. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye!